So I want to walk you through how to use a reference manager software. In this case, um, the one that I like to use is the software Mendeley that's available for free online. Um, so if you just bring up Mendeley.com on your web browser. Reference manager software is really useful when you sit down to write a lab report or a science article of some kind because it allows you to keep track of your citations and have those properly formatted in the article and then um, to publish a properly formatted work cited page or bibliography. In this case Mendeley really integrates seamlessly with Word and with your web browser to make finding articles, citing articles, and making a, a reference page uh, super streamlined, super easy. So if you just um, get to this page here, you can create a new account um, by clicking on this button here and just entering your email address, your name, uh, and the password. It's really as simple as that. For me, since I already have an account, I'm just going to click up here on sign in and enter my information. And I don't ever really use the Mendeley uh, website here. It's kind of like a social media thing for sharing articles and finding articles, etc. Um, what we're really interested in is installing the desktop app. So if you click up here in the top right on this down arrow, um, you can see a link for download Mendeley. And if you click that, it's going to bring up the download page. Mendeley is available for Windows, Mac OS, and uh, for Linux on the desktop. There's also versions available for iOS devices um, like your iPad or for Android devices like Kindle Fire or something like that. Um, I've only ever really used the, the desktop app. So if you just click here on download the Mendeley desktop, um, it's going to start the download and that should bring up the file down here in the bottom corner at least on uh, Chrome. So once that downloads complete, just open that file up. And that should start the installation process. So yeah, I'll allow it to install this program. That brings me to the desktop uh, install wizard. And I can just click through all this. There's nothing I really need to change here. So I'm installing the desktop app. And once it's complete, I'll just go ahead and run the Mendeley desktop. And there it is. You can see that mine's already populated um, because of my login. It already knows what articles I'm interested in. I've already added a few. You see, on um, August 12th, I added a bunch. Um, I've been working on an article. For, your, for you, it's going to come up blank. You haven't entered any articles yet, so we need to actually find some articles, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. But the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that Mendeley is properly integrated with Microsoft Word. To do that, if we click Tools um, and then Install Microsoft Word plugin, wow, that was easy. The installation was successful. So all we have to do now is start Microsoft Word um, and click on the References tab, and that'll bring up the Mendeley Cytomatic for actually citing while we while we work on an article. And I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. The next thing we want to do is install the Web Importer. So again, Tools. Um, and then install Web Importer. And this is going to bring you back to the Mendeley website. The great thing about the Web Importer is that as you're browsing, looking for articles, you can add the citations for those, or download, sorry, the bibliographic information for those as you're going. Um, the Web Importer is available on several browsers. I've used it on Chrome. It's also available for Firefox, um, and there's some in, uh, instructions here for installing it on Safari and Internet Explorer. But since I'm using Chrome, I'll just click up here, and that's going to bring up the Chrome Web Store. And all I have to do now is just click Add to Chrome, and that's going to add an extension to Chrome once I OK it here. 
And you can see that the web importer has now been added to this browser bar on Chrome. And the really great thing about that is that, as I said, I can download the citation information for stuff as I go. So if I go to PubMed, which is a repository for articles that are written about human biology or related to human biology or medical biology, I can search for articles. And so I'll just search for one of my articles here. So some of these aren't me, but if I scroll down a bit, let's see, number eight, that's me. This is from my graduate work. So if I click this article, IGF-1 activates cell cycle arrest. It's going to bring up the PubMed information page for that article, which has the title, author information, and abstracts, and figures, and access to the full free article in PubMed Central, um, which is a, a way of reading these articles online. All I have to do to get the bibliographic information for this software is to click up here on the Mendeley web importer and it's going to download that information. It takes a few seconds to kind of populate everything, but um, once it finishes, we should have all the information we need. So there's the title, author information, abstract, etc., etc., and I've got it checked up here so that it will download the PDF if a PDF is available for free or it's available uh, through the Wofford library. And then I just hit save up here, and that's going to save this reference to Mendeley. And actually, um, if you go back to Mendeley here, you can see that down here is that article, the citation to that article that I just downloaded. You can see on some of these articles, there's a little PDF icon. Those are articles that I have access to a PDF, so I can read those right here within the Mendeley app. So the real usefulness of this stuff is when I'm writing a paper or a lab report. So if I open up Word here and create a new document and then write a sentence that I want to have a citation for. So science is awesome. And then I want to insert a citation for this. I can click on the References tab up here and click on Insert Citation. And then I can choose a citation, um, search for one by author name, by the title, or by the year. If I don't know that information for sure and I want to browse through a list of articles, I can always click here to go to Mendeley, and that will bring up the desktop app. But since I already know the author here is Mitchell, I can find it pretty easily. It's IGF-1 activated cell cycle arrest. Click that paper. If there are other papers that I want to cite at the same time, I can add those as well. And then I just hit OK, and it brings up a citation. And what's important is to look at the style up here. Um, I've already got this citation in the style that we like to use in the biology department here at Wofford, which is the Council of Science Editors in the new year format. I've already added this style, so Mendeley knows that this is a style that I like to use. For you, it, this style is not going to show up when you click that, so you're going to need to add it. And if you click More Styles, and then click on the tab here that says Get More Styles, you can search for um, styles online. So if you just start typing Council of Science Editors, it's going to bring up several of those. As I said, the one we like to use at Wofford is the name year format. Um, but just to show you how to install one of these, I'll click the numeric format. So when you do that, it'll, you can, it'll bring up this option to install. So just click that. And it'll tell me now that this citation style is installed. If I go back and click on my installed citation styles here, the numeric is the one that I just installed, right? I want to click use this style. There it is. But as I said, we like to use the name year format here in the Wofford Biology Department.
So now I've written this whole article, I've cited a bunch of literature, and I need to make a literature cited page or bibliography or reference page. Super easy to do using Mendeley. So all I have to do is go to my bibliography page or references page and click insert bibliography. And it'll go ahead and insert all of the citation information in the style that I've selected. One of the great things about this is it, as you continue on into medicine or uh, graduate research, when you're actually writing articles or reports to submit um, the journals for publication, um, you might have to submit it several times before you find a good home for it. And as you're doing that, a lot of these journals will have sort of their own preferred citation formats. And so it could be quite onerous if you had to go back and change everything by hand. The great thing about using a citation manager like Mendeley is that you can really quickly change the style. So let's say I got this paper done and decided that it was a really good paper and I wanted to send it to Nature. Um, all I would have to do is go up here to Style and change the style um, to Nature. So Nature is one that I already have installed, so if I just hit Use Style, Done, puts back over. There it is in nature style. So it's super easy to do. So play around with the Mendeley desktop app, get used to it. This is something that I think will really make it um, make your life a lot easier as you're writing these papers.